Hey everybody, The Amazing here, bringing another review. This time is with the SH Figure Arts Dark Drive Type Next from the Kamen Rider Drive movie, Surprise Future. So, let's get started. He is the main antagonist from the movie, and I'm glad they finally did it. We were all hoping for it as Kamen Rider fans, so I'm really excited to get another Drive villain. Although I would have liked Brain the Medic, it's really cool to get uh, a movie writer, especially one that's insanely popular, because he had a cool design. So, let's get started on it. Overall, if you have played with a drive or you have a drive-like figure, you already know what you're getting body-wise. But if you've never seen a review or you don't own any Kamen Rider figures, let's go over that for you. So in terms of articulation, most of the time you know what you're getting in Kamen Rider because it's all based off similar bodies from that series. So in this case, we get ball-jointed legs, we get uh, arm rotation that's really nice, and we get them with the ability to pretty much maneuver very well. And look like they know some sort of, uh, I won't say martial arts, but definitely some type of training where it strikes and grapples. So it's really cool to be able to see him, even with the tire, you can still get poses really done really well. And I really enjoy that. The thing I like most about this, and I don't know if you guys can see it, I can see it but under the light, as you turn him, it sort of looks like a diamond is reflecting or like a sort of like that Tron thing going on. And I really like it. The light in the, the head. I mean, sorry, not the light. But the reflection of the head is really nice. The shades of blue are done really well. The terms of articulation. Everyone knows I'm a big fan of that. So I'm always going to talk about that the most. Because if you can do stuff with that, uh, you can pretty much do everything with the figure. Being able to maneuver as humanoid as possible in human-like movement are really what grabbed me for a figure. So in this... Even with the way the head is shaped, you still get the entire rotation of a head. And I really like that. The tire is removable for obvious reasons. So let's stand him straight up. The blue on him is incredibly nice. The legs are double jointed. The ankles rotate in but don't rotate out for obvious reasons. And let's see if he can actually maintain some balance. This is one of my favorite things to do. To see if he can do it. I'm awfully quiet when I do this because I use this time to kind of just focus. And voila. He actually does a lot of kicking grapple type moves. As well as uses uh, his main weapon, which I'll get to in a second. But as far as balancing these out, I always have a lot of fun when I'm doing that. Let's see if I can make it work. Looks like this way. Be one. Oh, wait. I was wrong. I can make it work. <laughs> but yeah, things like that are actually really dope. And he's the main antagonist, and he definitely covers that with me. Even as we get to the, the wrist part for his drive driver, you can see they replicate the shift card pretty well. You have the shift cards on the sides. These can actually not be removed. Well, they can, but you have to be careful because they glued in really well. So if you mod it for them to be removed, you can. There's no real hindrance from the shoulder pads, which is something that I, I really enjoy, especially. But the main thing that always worries me about a dry figure is that the tire. Everyone knows the tire is going to get in the way when it comes to the left-hand side of the figure. And that still proves to be a thing even with dark drive. So please be aware and please be careful of that. Otherwise, you have an exceptionally great figure. Especially because for, even for a web shop figure, he actually comes with a lot of hands. Most web shop figures, especially when it's antagonist, they don't come with anything. So, Dark Drive actually comes with uh, shooting slash holding hands for his weapon, which is a mix between Machine Chaser's weapon and the Drive Sword. It's a nice clear blue with a silver design. And it's matte black compared to Chase's, which I have here as well, which is purple. And here it is black. So, let's see if I can get a focus on that for you guys. So, as you can see, I already put the gun holding hand on. So, as you can see, it holds it really well. I'm going to put it on gonna swap the hand real fast hand swapping yeah hand swapping and just like that dog drive actually looks really really good i'm a big fan of this he actually comes with closed fists he has the open pointy hands as you can see here he has normally relaxed hands two of each and he still comes with regular holding hands for when he holds it upside down for the sword. Two of each. So he actually does come with tons of accessories. 
I'm a real big fan of this figure. It just looks overall really nice, and I'm just so glad to have, like, finally have it. Now, in terms of height and what he compares, like, to figures in the other series, let's get to that real fast so I can show you guys what's going on. Oh, one quick thing before I forget. I actually want to point out that if you have any other drive figures previously and you want to test to see if the, uh, the shift car sets will actually work on it, they do fit on it, but they don't fit perfectly as a match. So what happens is at the top of the figure piece, where it rotates, right here at the top where this supposed to meet right up here on the top left side, it won't meet and sit flush. So unless you mod it, it won't fit perfectly. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. So it won't fit perfectly if you try that. Sorry about that, guys. I was hoping it would have fit too, but it doesn't. So here he is next to Drive Super Dead Heat who they fight in the movie until something later. For those who haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil it. Go watch Drive Surprise Future. Um, you can find it because I'm actually going to post it to my like page soon for everyone to watch. Even if you haven't watched the Drive series, you will have your ability to go and watch this because I'm going to go post it to my like page. So go and enjoy that. So here are the figures all next to each other. As you can see, Dog Driver seems a little bit on the smaller side. But that's just his head being actually smaller. Height and size-wise, he's still about the same. He, they all look really well together, and it fits in the series well. So it's not like it's one of those things where they release the figure later, and it actually doesn't fit in the line, or it's done with new technology so that he makes the others look outdated. It actually fits the others actually really, really well. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends uh, cat. As you can see, he's tiny compared to him. But overall, I've made worse work. Here he is next to a Mesco Punisher with the CJ jacket. Again, small, but again, I've made other things work. Here he is next to my articulated icon Solitaire with my Greg Glassman Snake Eyes Resolute head. And they are actually in a better scale with each other. Not too much taller, but still around the same body mold and type. So it actually works really well. And here he is next to a Marvel SHF figure, an Iron Man. Which he doesn't look that much smaller than, so obviously it still works. Overall, I'm really happy to get this figure. I think you definitely get the bang for your buck here because you'd actually get a new and different design. And that's not something we actually see all the time because we all know that when you get something, it's pretty much a repaint or a rehash or things like that. Which is okay because if you like something, you're willing to pay for it. And I was definitely willing to pay for this figure. Really happy, really excited. But if you don't, if you're not happy with it and you're mad at this web shop, I can totally understand that. And if you don't want it, you don't have to grab it. But I hope you found this informative. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're being good. Please keep your hearts full. Drink your water. Have a good one, guys. Later.